Simon, what a win, a brilliant comeback. What did you say to the boys at half time? Because that was a fantastic second half performance. Yeah, listen, um, credit to the players, you know, they've, they've responded really well. Um, I just felt we needed to play higher. Um, we needed to be brave. So we got the goal back just before half time, which was huge for us. Um, and credit for, to Courtney for that. You know, selfless running, chasing lost causes. There are no lost causes, I think I've said before. Um, gets in, scores just before half time, which was a huge goal. The next goal was always going to be important. Um, I thought we should have had a penalty to be fair at 1 0 down. Uh, we didn't start well. We didn't start well. If you go a goal behind against a team like Altrinham, you know, expansive, decent, good footballing team, uh, they're going to make it off you. And they did. We struggled first half. The pitch we made, we let them have the pitch. We, the pitch was too big for us. Um, we didn't get the intensity right. Um, so we addressed some stuff at half time. Um, Sam's had to come off uh, for injury. So we made a change there for Alex's energy. Second half was fantastic. Harry, uh, brilliant, adapting into more of a sitting role. Uh, and yeah, we, listen, we were braver. We played 15 yards further up the pitch. We got closer to teams. Um, and the intensity we could get to at the top end of the pitch was good for us. And, you know, once you start building that momentum, you know, I think I've said before, sustained attacks, and we sustained you know, a lot of attacks second half. And really pleased with the response. We've spoken about character quite a few times since you come in the door. Again, you certainly can't question this side's character to come back today because a matter of weeks ago, I'm pretty sure we would have folded. So the boys have done excellently there. Yeah, and the credit to the players. You know, credit again to the players. Very easy for them to go under. You know, listen, I've watched pretty much all the games this season. I've seen us capitulate. You know, but this is new, Barnet. I said to him before the game, we played three games local. It's about us now going to Manchester uh, and telling the north of England that we're not a pushover anymore. You know, we're here to fight, we're here to compete, and we're going to give everyone we play a game. I always felt that we were in the game, even at, at 2 0, as you say, we started slowly, but we were always in the match. and. You thought at half time that we certainly could have got ourselves on the front foot, and once the equaliser goes in again, I always felt there was only one team to go and nick it in the end. Yeah, I mean, we gained good momentum second half. At 2 0, as I say, the, the next goal was huge. You know, we couldn't quite get the information on first half, and it was really just about us getting to half time, whether it be 2 0 and being in the game still. Um, we managed to get the goal, which I said which was fantastic, which gives us a real impetus. And say second half, they carried out the instructions uh, brilliantly and, and full credit to him. You know, subs come on time, he's come on and scored again, which was brilliant for him. Mason um, could have had a couple on the day, Keaton's made a brilliant save off his to his right, a real strong arm uh, to keep that one out. And again, yeah, once we got momentum, I felt we was the uh, we was a team in the ascendancy, certainly. Let's talk about Tommy Adloy. He's come off the bench two Saturdays in a row and, and put it in the back of the net. I've just spoken to him. That's exactly what you want from a sub, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. I thought all the subs were good today. You know, uh, Mike came on, was bright, was fresh. You know, we know the quality he's got. Um, so that's a positive going forward. Tony's come on again and and, uh, and scored a goal, and they're the problems you want, you know. And as I said to him since I walked in, be ready, you know, be ready. You never know when your race is going to start. You need to be ready. And credit to Tony, he's came on last week, scored, got a good shift in on uh, at Bournemouth. And then he, again, he's come on today and scored. So yeah, brilliant. Eamon Azay's made a pretty big stop with with ten minutes to go when they broke from the corner. He certainly played his part in that win today. Yeah, absolutely. And as I say, right at the end when they're filing everyone forward, you know, to come and take it, uh, the cross there was was fantastic. Just what everyone needed. So uh, credit to Eamon for that. Yeah. Let's just finish on the fans. We've said all year they've had a difficult campaign to endure. It's not been the best time to be a Barnet fan. They'll be absolutely delighted tonight. I hope so. I hope so. And again, we wish they was here uh, to see that because they're the games that supporters remember. You know, you go, you leave the ground, and you forget how bad we were first half. <laughs> and they remember the brilliant second half we put in, and that's what we want. So, it's a credit to them. Sun shining. Hope they enjoy a beer uh, and, and bring on Tuesday. You know, it's going to be a different test for us, but a really tough one. You know, I don't live far from Sutton. My son plays for Sutton United under 14s, so I know all about Sutton. You know, I 
I know their management staff really well and they'll ask a different test for us but they're top of the, at the top end of the league for a reason. It's going to be a real good test for us but you know, one that we can go into with, with confidence after today.